What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, I want to take this default-looking HTML document and embed this Google Map into my project, but also make it responsive. By default, Google Maps gives us the share option, so I can click on Share and embed the map. If I copy this HTML and come back over, let me hide Safari, and if I drop in that Google Map, dropping it in, boom, it sits right there. That's great, but if I would increase this width to say 1200, what's gonna happen is I can scroll side to side. What I eventually wanna have happen is I want this to hit the edge of the page and be responsive in whatever size browser I have. Right now it doesn't move because it's not responsive. Let's change that. We have to use a little CSS and change some of the HTML. In this custom CSS, I'm gonna first write dot map responsive. And after that, we're gonna use both a position relative and a position absolute. First thing I wanna do though, oops, is say overflow hidden. This will cap it amongst the right size in my design. I'm then gonna say padding bottom. I'm gonna use a particular percentage. I'm gonna say 56.25%. Now, how did I get this ratio or this number of percent? Basically what I'm doing is I'm saying, I want this design to be a 16 by nine ratio. If we do the math, if we say calculator nine divided by 16, we get 56.25%. So essentially we're saying the ratio is 16 by nine here in this design. After that, what I'm gonna do is position, not inherit, I thought it was gonna catch relative, and then the height is gonna be zero for the map responsive. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say map responsive iframe. And in here, once we hit the correct curly brackets, I'm gonna say left is zero. I'm gonna to say top is zero. I'm gonna say the height is equal to 100%. The width is equal to 100%. And if we're using the position relative, I'm gonna use the position absolute. Drop it in and we're good to go. Now what I wanna do is I wanna connect this CSS up to the HTML. So what I'm gonna do is after the H1, I'm gonna type div class and then use the custom CSS class map responsive. Drop it in, open and close. And we're almost there. We then have to drop this iframe into our design and drop it in like that. If we just do it just like that, it by default works. We're all set to go. Now a little bit of cleanup on IL9, what I like to do is a little bit of text changes I wanna make is I can take out the width and height. There's no more need for that in my design. It's still gonna fit just fine. And I usually take out this style border because what I'll do is I'll take it out. Yep, it's gonna show right back up with the border. I'll come back into my CSS and just say border zero. And with that, you have a responsive embedded Google map.